Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Bold and Beautiful keeps playing a beat that could end a relationship for good, but we can't figure out why Bold and Beautiful loves to throw twists and turns into storylines, but a recent beat being played in a front burner plot has left us scratching our heads. Why do they continue to hammer to death a plot point that makes no sense and could end a loving relationship for good? When Luna woke up in Zen's bed and realized she'd had sex with someone other than her boyfriend RJ, she was horrified on a number of levels. But right from the get-go, she went easy on Zen, and we're not sure why she's cut him so much slack. Yes, Zen thought Luna wanted him. She even said, I've been waiting for you or some such come other type phrase. So he believed that he had her full consent. But the fact is that he was well aware that Luna was head over heels in love with his cousin. And as a few characters have pointed out, most notably RJ using his fists for emphasis, Zen would have known full well what he was doing was wrong. Yet Luna never questioned Zen's betrayal, and we can't quite figure out why. Sure, Luna's a nice person, and we can understand some part of her feeling bad that Zen got singed by the massive mint mix-up. We felt bad for him too, but it's not like he's entirely blameless. Zen willingly chose to betray his cousin, and to add insult to injury, he made an unflattering presumption about Luna that night as well. The designer had to have assumed that Luna was the kind of person who would kiss her boyfriend goodbye and then sleep with his cousin immediately afterwards. Another reason he should have put on the brakes. He knew Luna had been drinking champagne at the party, which could have affected her decision-making. Ultimately, Zen believed he had Luna's consent, meaning he didn't willfully take advantage of her, but he did elect to engage in an act of betrayal under questionable circumstances. If we were in Luna's place, we're not sure we'd be feeling so kindly towards Zen right at the moment. Yet she keeps defending him to any and all who will listen. Why does she keep saying he did nothing wrong, when he clearly did? One reason is that sadly, she's blaming herself, as well as her mother and her mints, but the other is that bold and beautiful loves to twist something unpalatable into a potential love triangle. And we think that's exactly what's at play here. If you think back, Zen repeatedly hit on Luna before the night in question. It was inappropriate not only because she was in a relationship and had told him she loved RG more than once, but because he was portrayed as targeting Luna in part, because he was upset about RG being chosen by Eric to work on his line. Bold and Beautiful made sure to choose music cues to make sure we felt that when we watched those scenes, that was reason enough for Luna to want to keep Send at arm's length. But after they slept together, suddenly that beat was gone and it was all about Zen making an innocent mistake and just being hopelessly besotted with the girl. We knew a love triangle was in the making when Zen began romanticizing what had happened between them in his mind, and Luna did not become upset with him as she processed her trauma. Now, instead of Luna being put off by Zen, she's defending him at every turn. We can't imagine how that won't become a sticking point for RG moving forward. Bottom line. This whole storyline has an ick factor that should make bold and beautiful think twice about trying to spin this into a love story for Luna and Zen. In the bustling heart of the city where dreams and ambitions intermingle in a complex dance, there exists a club like no other. Its neon-lit sign flickers with promises of excitement and adventure, drawing in the curious and the daring. This is where the beat of boldness and beauty pulses relentlessly, weaving through the air like an enchanting melody, intoxicating all who dare to enter. The club, aptly named Bold and Beautiful, is a haven for those who crave the thrill of the unknown. Its interior is a kaleidoscope of colors, with shimmering lights dancing across the walls and floors. The scent of perfume and sweat hangs heavy in the air, mingling with the faint aroma of alcohol and desire. At the center of it all is the dance floor, a swirling vortex of bodies moving in perfect synchrony to the hypnotic rhythm. Here, inhibitions are shed like unwanted clothes, and the only thing that matters is the music coursing through veins, igniting passion and igniting flames. Yet, amidst the pulsating energy and the dazzling display of beauty, there lurks a sinister undertone, a beat that could spell the end of relationships, tearing apart the very fabric of love and trust. And yet, nobody can quite pinpoint why. Some say it's the allure of the unknown, the temptation of something new and forbidden. Others whisper of a curse, a malevolent force that thrives on chaos and heartbreak. But for most, it remains a mystery, a puzzle waiting to be solved, a conundrum begging for an answer. Among the crowd, there are those who have fallen victim to the irresistible pull of bold and beautiful speed. Couples who once stood hand in hand, their love a beacon of hope in a world consumed by darkness, 
now find themselves torn apart by jealousy and suspicion. Take Sarah and David, for example. They were once inseparable, their love a testament to the power of true connection. But ever since they stepped foot into bold and beautiful, cracks began to form in their once solid foundation. It started with a lingering glance from across the room, a fleeting touch that sent shivers down Sarah's spine. David, too, found himself drawn to another, his eyes wandering where they shouldn't. And before they knew it, their love had become a battlefield, each accusing the other of betrayal and deceit. But it wasn't just Sarah and David who felt the sting of bold and beautiful's beat. Across the room, Emma and James found themselves caught in a web of temptation and desire. What started as innocent flirting soon escalated into something more, their bodies moving in perfect harmony to the seductive rhythm. And yet, even as they surrendered to the music, a nagging voice whispered in the back of their minds, reminding them of the love they left behind. But try as they might, they couldn't tear themselves away from the intoxicating allure of bold and beautiful speed. As the night wore on, the club transformed into a battleground of emotions, with hearts torn between loyalty and desire. Some fought to hold on to their love, clinging desperately to the fragments of what once was. Others surrendered to the chaos, succumbing to the allure of passion and temptation. And through it all, the beat of bold and beautiful continued to play, a relentless pulse that seemed to echo the very heartbeat of the city itself. For some, it was a siren song, luring them deeper into the depths of desire. But for others, it was a warning, a reminder of the fragility of love and the dangers that lurked in the shadows. In the end, as the first light of dawn broke through the darkness, the patrons of Bold and Beautiful stumbled out into the streets, their hearts heavy with regret and longing. For in the embrace of the night, they had danced to a beat that could end a relationship for good, a beat that, try as they might, they could never quite figure out why. Some say it's the allure of the unknown, the temptation of something new and forbidden. Others whisper of a curse, a malevolent force that thrives on chaos and heartbreak. But for most, it remains a mystery, a puzzle waiting to be solved, a conundrum begging for an answer. Among the crowd, there are those who have fallen victim to the irresistible pull of bold and beautiful speed. Couples who once stood hand in hand, their love a beacon of hope in a world consumed by darkness, now find themselves torn apart by jealousy and suspicion. Take Sarah and David, for example. They were once inseparable, their love a testament to the power of true connection. But ever since they stepped foot into bold and beautiful, cracks began to form in their once solid foundation. It started with a lingering glance from across the room, a fleeting touch that sent shivers down Sarah's spine. David, too, found himself drawn to another, his eyes wandering where they shouldn't. And before they knew it, their love had become a battlefield, each accusing the other of betrayal and deceit. But it wasn't just Sarah and David who felt the sting of bold and beautiful speed. Across the room, Emma and James found themselves caught in a web of temptation and desire. What started as innocent flirting soon escalated into something more their bodies moving in perfect harmony to the seductive rhythm. And yet, even as they surrendered to the music, a nagging voice whispered in the back of their minds, reminding them of the love they left behind. But try as they might, they couldn't tear themselves away from the intoxicating allure of bold and beautiful speed. As the night wore on, the club transformed into a battleground of emotions, with hearts torn between loyalty and desire. Some fought to hold on to their love, clinging desperately to the fragments of what once was. Others surrendered to the chaos, succumbing to the allure of passion and temptation. And through it all, the beat of bold and beautiful continued to play, a relentless pulse that seemed to echo the very heartbeat of the city itself. For some, it was a siren song, luring them deeper into the depths of desire. But for others, it was a warning, a reminder of the fragility of love and the dangers that lurked in the shadows. In the end, as the first light of dawn broke through the darkness, the patrons of bold and beautiful stumbled out into the streets, their hearts heavy with regret and longing. For in the embrace of the night, they had danced to a beat that could end a relationship for good, a beat that, try as they might, they could never quite figure out why.